Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, congratulations to you all on your nominations. I know that you were in the room during our first series of hearings, and I'm sure you um, were aware of my conversation with Judge Nathan and how it is something, and I just saw it with you, Professor, trying to skirt the issue and not giving an opinion and not having a ju judicial philosophy and feeling that laws apply in one place but not in others, in the pick and choose. That's frustrating to Tennesseans. And uh, they really are not appreciative of that type subjectiveness that they are seeing from some of the judicial nominees that are being put forward by this administration. And we hear a good bit about that. Um, so, Ms. Kastner, let me come to you. Uh, does the Second Amendment protect an individual's right to keep and bear arms? Yes or no? Thank you, Senator. Um, our Supreme Court has recognized that right. Okay. Do you agree with the Supreme Court that the Second Amendment is a fundamental right? Thank you, Senator. If I was am fortunate enough to be confirmed, I would be duty-bound to apply the Heller decision. Okay. Did you attend a March for Our Lives event in March of 2018? Uh, I, I'm not sure if I attended. I believe so, Senator. Yeah, I think you attended. I'm certain you attended. Uh, do you support that organization's position opposing the Supreme Court's decision in District of Columbia versus Heller? Uh, Senator, that was an event I attended as a private citizen. If I were fortunate... No, I'm asking you. You attended the event. So do you support the organization, and thereby do you support their opposition to District of Columbia versus Heller? Uh, Senator, again... If I'm fortunate enough to be confirmed, I would be duty-bound to apply Heller McDonald, and I would do so fully and faithfully. Okay. So then you're saying your opinions in your private life have absolutely no reflection on what you would do as a judge. Senator, as an attorney for the last 14 years, my personal views play no role in my job as an advocate on behalf of my clients, and it would play no role in my courtroom if I were fortunate enough to be confirmed. What's your opinion on judicial activism? Senator, I know that term has a number of different meanings for people. For me, it would be a judge who uh, goes beyond the issues in a case or considers um, their personal okay, views. Let's say it like this. Let's say that you were to get confirmed and a case involving the Second Amendment were to come before you then how should the litigants feel about you hearing their case when they know of your political activism? Senator, I would hope that litigants would um, be able to take a look at my record and that I have, um, okay. and that I would apply the law and the facts of the case in an open mind. That's, okay, let's move on. Uh, 